guys welcome back to the channel today I am giving you a look at what my dolls are wearing for winter as many of you guys know the winter season Christmas is my favorite time in the dollhouse I'll have lots of content coming your way but this year I decided to dress uh, a good chunk of the dolls in some of the gear from last year years past this year's Janie and Jack items and um, some pajamas and so I wanted to share with you what they're wearing so first off we have Zoe our number 83 I love Zoe she looks great in everything but she's wearing the pink sparkle sweater top from last year and a checkered mix and match skirt from maybe a couple years ago she's got white tights on and black boots I don't remember whose boots those are um, but I think they she looks very cute and festive something spunky and jazzy all right next up is my number 61 Brielle and she is wearing the Peace Love Joy pajamas. I want to say those were last year pajamas. Um, I haven't had Brielle out in a while because she's sort of one of my older uh, Truly Me's. But I thought she would look great in this outfit. I love her red hair. If I can grab her. This outfit, I also put a bow in her hair. So I think it is a great fit. Next up is one of our newest dolls, Truly Me 88. This is Kelly. And I got her from the benefit sale along with this penguin outfit from the benefit sale. It's got a cute cowl neck sweater with a penguin sequence on top, purplish blue leggings, and pink knit soft bottom boots. Okay, next up we have Kira, Girl of the Year from 2021. She is wearing a combination of some of the winter mix and match from last year. She's got a long sleeve um, shirt on with furry cuffs. She's got the plaid silver and white vest also with a furry collar and then she has the silver sequin pants these are sequin in the front and plain in the back and she has some of the boots from last year next up i have melody she's been in storage too but i brought her out because we do have her christmas dress i got it on sale i want to say last year after christmas and so um she was able to wear it it is a beautiful one piece sort of um, straight dress that comes down mid thigh, I would guess. Um, it is gold, metallic, white, very pretty, white tights and her signature black shoes. Next up is our 89, Jade. And Jade um, was featured in our J Janie and Jack review and unboxing so you haven't seen that those videos i will link them but she is wearing the floral sweater it's blue and red and a red tulle skirt she has black tights that i put on her from different outfits from the girls because no tights came in um the jd and jack things and shiny patent leather mary janes next up i have molly she is my 35th anniversary molly one of my treasured dolls i love her so much i don't usually modernize her but here she is in last year's dress and on top she has the Janie and jack jacket i did show this in a short it was recommended by one of you guys that said um to put that jacket over the dress and i love it however i am using this jacket for a different outfit you'll see shortly but if i open it up you'll see that she has the dress from last year, which I thought was kind of casual for the big Christmas dress, but it looks great with this jacket. She's still wearing her Molly necklace. She's staying true to herself. And this outfit came with uh, patent leather, quote unquote, blue booties. So there's Molly. Next up is my cute Yvette with her hair bigger than ever. Uh, the jacket's making a second appearance. This is the Janie and Jack jacket. Again, it's that plaid color with blue accents in faux fur. She's got the leggings. They came in a two-pack set. Um, and these are the blue with the petals, the flowers, roses on the bottom, and the patent leather red shoes that are part of the Janie and Jack sets. Next up is Sky, our number 58. She is, as I said before, turning to a little mini me, but this is um, her in her silly sweat Christmas sweater. She's also wearing the headband that goes with that, and I just put some regular jeans on that I had from our collection. And then these boots are from Hobby Lobby many, many years ago, and I just love those boots with jeans or any kind of legging pant. So there's Sky. Next up, we have Logan. He's also been sort of tucked away for a while because 
he doesn't have a lot of space in the dollhouse but he's wearing the Janie and Jack sort of boy set again you put on a girl too but it is um, the blue button down with real buttons a bow tie that velcros in the back blue suede or sort of velvety vest you have the plaid green pants dark navy blue loafers with navy blue socks Arguably one of my favorite outfits this year. It's Maritza. I love her. Actually, I need to go get Maritza's stuff right now. <laughs> I love Maritza. And she is wearing the Janie and Jack um, fur sweater. It Velcro's in the front. I have a plain white tee from a different set underneath her jacket. She's wearing the red leggings. They are plain, but they come in that two pack with the blue ones with the petals. And then she has the navy riding boots that has gold detail on it she looks so chic to me and she definitely will um have a place in the dollhouse this christmas next up is brie our number 92 i want to say she's 92 and she is wearing janie and jack items as well again these were featured in videos already recorded so i will link them but she has the blue sweater with rose petal detail she's wearing the green plaid skirt tights i provided and then shoes i provided very cute wholesome and looks like a great match outfit with logan next up is claudie she's dressed up in i want to say last year or the years before's um big christmas dress i got it after the year because it always goes on sale so if you haven't picked up the jack and janie or the janie and jack items just know they will go on sale at some point um but she is wearing this really cute a uh, suede velvety top with glitter sparkles that goes into a tulle bottom gold red are the accent colors she's got beautiful gold shoes on it does come with a little purse that she has around her wrist and the headband is included as well next up is mary ellen she's wearing her um sledding outfit i got the year before no i got last year and um, I've done sort of a look into this as well, but she's got the cute bonnet hat with the faux fur trim. She has a mock turtleneck underneath this jacket. The jacket does have real buttons, the belt loops, um, stirrup, overall bibs. And then she has um, her shoes are little um, wellies that are yellow. Next up is Rebecca. She also stays in storage, but I love her and I got her at the benefit sale in 2020. She's wearing her Hanukkah dress and so all of the pieces are part of it. I love the color on the dress. I love the bow and then it comes with tights and the cute little heeled Mary Janes. I pulled Grace out of storage to pop on this silly Hanukkah sweater. Um, that's the name of it. It's not a silly Hanukkah. It's just that's the name of it it says happy lamaka and she's wearing the dreidel headband i don't love the outfit but we put her in the mix and match skirt from last year and just some fun festive casual shoes so she's probably on her way to a casual christmas and hanukkah celebration all right next up is courtney she's wearing one of the winter sets from last year it comes with that sparkly headband a blue pullover dress and um fur sweater uh the tights did come with it and those white boots i love putting courtney in blue because it goes with her eyes so well so when i have the opportunity to do that i do it next up is hannah our number 82 if you'll recall we did cut her hair because it was so ratty at the bottom but i love her short bob look she's wearing um a christmas dress from last year it almost was like a purchase and purchase type dress, but it wasn't. It was $14. It's a one-piece dress, very light material. You get the headband and shoes. They both shed like crazy, but it's a cute winter outfit, and I always need to find lots of winter outfits for my dolls. All right, next up is our tailor, and she has the new jammies on from this year. Not my favorite jammies for the holidays, but it says Mary Everything. It is a pink and red waffle knit shirt, and then the bottom are just regular cotton pants. I don't love how the pants hang at the bottom. I wish they either came to like a jogger style or came all the way down. And then those shoes are uh, slip-on slippers with a cute little fuzzy on top, but they are a recycled style. All right, a couple months ago, I picked up an Our Generation Girl because she just caught my eye. And here she is, Maria. And she's wearing, I want to say it's a 2017 or 
2016 um, pajama set for the holidays. One of our favorites is burned in my brain because this is one of the outfits that Kennedy had that was mixed that matched her doll. And then I had a student um, who also had this jammy that she wore on a jammy day. And I was like, what? You like AG? And so um, that is burned in my head. But she has sort of like a jersey sort of style shirt, the cute penguin blue pants, and the slippers that are like booties. Okay, we are almost done, but I will tell you up next we have Joss. Joss is wearing one of those winter white outfits. It came out maybe 2015, 2016. I didn't get it at the time, but I've always loved it, so I ended up ordering it on eBay a few years ago. But it has a long sleeve white shirt with the white fur trimmed cuffs. You have a white fur vest with a nice simple light tie. The cute little knit shorts over the tights and then the white boots. Such a cute outfit. And every time I pull Joss out, because I don't always, I forget how cute she is. Next up is Brooklyn R67, and she is wearing last year's jammy set. Last year I had it on Sky, and it was super tight, and this year it's on um, 67 Brooklyn, and it's not at all, so the 50 and 67 were definitely two different sizes. But this cute little onesie features Christmas trees, hearts, and the slippers are built in to the little jumper. Next up is McKenna, and McKenna is wearing an outfit from a few years ago. It's like a festive pink outfit. I forgot the exact name of it, but it is a tank top dress um, with a white top on the, well, the top half is white, and then it has this um, sort of peacoat wool feeling jacket on top, the tooled skirt on the bottom with stockings and pink boots. Very cute. Okay, before I get to the last doll, I want to honorable mention our babies because we do have a couple. So obviously we have Blix and Blix is wearing the outfit he came in and it is very wintry so he is ready to go. And then we have our other baby which still has no name. Let me put her headband on. But she's wearing this cute seasonal outfit. And I got this from So Bow and Co. I want to say on Etsy, like when this first came out, so maybe a year or two ago. And um, she makes really cute stuff, really reasonably priced. And I want to get the baby uh, outfit that is for Christmas. Okay, and rounding out our winter outfits is Miss Corinne, our girl of the year this year. I wish we had more things for her coming out routinely. We're almost at the end of her time and I don't, I feel like they pushed so much at the beginning and not a lot moving forward. So I would love to have more things from her, at least more outfits, but that's okay. Um, she is wearing mix and match from last year. So that shirt was from last year. The skirt was from last year. The tights from last year and the boots, I want to say were also from last year. I popped on McKenna's hat on her, which I think it looks adorable in her outfit because she's a winter girl and she's used to the cold. I think it looks cute with her hair color. Um, and yeah, I love it. I um, It did take some time to get all the dolls dressed, but again, this is my favorite time of year, so I love their outfits. I love what they're in. I need to figure out who's staying in the dollhouse because they can't all be in the dollhouse unfortunately as we get set up for Christmas there's just too many items that are going to be out and about so comment down below what your favorite outfit was I would say what surprised me the most about getting everybody dressed is that this is the first year that I have quite a few dolls with colorful hair and the outfits still went with them just fine so really excited for them to look chic and have colorful hair so again thanks so much for watching comment down below your favorite outfit and we will see you in the next video Bye.